I'm a sucker for a sassy singer. So take what I say with a smut of salt. Queen Wolf songs sound like the storm I saw them in. It comes in drips, drizzles, and downpours. In candy terms, they're sort of like Sour Patch Kids. At first they're sour, then they're sweet, and if consumed for too long, they make your mouth, or in this case, your ears feel funny, but that could just be me being too close to the PA. Their music seems to have the soul of Rage Against the Machine with the voice of Amy Lee of Evanescence. Mixed with a little bit of Baltimore charm, you know, too many crabs and natty bows seasoned with Old Bay. Sample some for yourself. <laughs> there's room for improvement but they sort of captured my heart with the two covers that they did in this performance. Their cover songs also gave me a good understanding for the basis of the band's abilities. Vocals were top-notch especially with three separate singers who could from what I could tell do different range of vocals. The sound quality well I'll give them a pass for that. I'll, I'll keep that in mind for the future when I check them out in the club scene. July 27th, day or two away, I'll check them out the Metro Gallery. And then we have just a few doors down on North Charles at the Depot at August 12th. Their stage presence and likability like most great Baltimore bands. Very likable, very fun. I'm hoping their fan base is as fun as they are when I see them in the club in two days time or one at the time I put up this video. Uh, disclaimer before I get into talking about their body of works. I am no means a musical person. My sense of rhythm and my death toneness is legendary among people. But as a layman, I actually really enjoyed it. It was different. Queen's Wolf music is exciting, fun, and fresh. It's not your typical cookie cutter cutout, despite me comparing them to Rage Against the Machine and Evanescence. It, those were just in the best terms that I thought. It's probably if I had listened and a more experienced listener, I would find other influences, but it's interesting music with a twi with a phenomenal vocalist and definitely an awesome concept behind it. So, if you haven't if you haven't heard this band, I would say go to a live show. That's where the Baltimore scene really comes alive. If you can't get to one of them, check out. Um, Check out their Bandcamp account, buy some merch from them, it, or just buy their albums. They're well worth listening to. Although their music seems overall to be more to entertain and amuse the audience, there's probably about one great song in each one of their albums on Bandcamp from my limited experience with it. <laughs> Dust Till Dawn actually was the one that really stood out for me. I suck at remembering and I wouldn't want to desecrate the actual song with my rendition of it. So, until next time, take care and enjoy some good music. Thank you. Thanks everybody.